Good morning. Book time. Yertle the Turtle. I switched gears. I had something else planned, but I don't know. Yertle was speaking to me. Yertle has two stories, obviously, Yertle. And then it also has one called The Big Brag. I don't know if I can get through both because they're, I don't know, they seem a little bit long. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to start with The Big Brag because that was always one of my favorite ones. You don't hear too much about it but because um, it's not titled like Yertle, but The Big Brag is really funny. Well, I don't know if it's funny. I think it's funny. The world runs on Duncan. So do I. <clears throat> the rabbit felt mighty important that day on top of the hill in the sun where he lay. He felt so important up there on the hill that he started in bragging as animals will, and he boasted out loud as he threw out his chest, Of all the beasts in the world, I'm the best. <laughs> on land and on sea, even up in the sky, no animal lives who's better than I. I think you see him chilling. Looks like he's on a camel. But he thinks he's pretty smart. Pretty good. Let's see. What's that? growled a voice that was terribly gruff. Now, why do you say such ridiculous stuff? The rabbit looked down, and he saw a big bear. I'm the best of the beasts, said the bear. And so, there. Here's the thing. I'm not arguing with a bear. He can just be the best. <laughs> You're not, snapped the rabbit. I'm better than you. Poo! The bear snorted again. I say, poo. You talk mighty big, Mr. Rabbit, that's true, but how can you prove it? Just what can you do? Hmm, thought the rabbit. Now what can I do? He thought and he thought. Then he finally said, Mr. Bear, do you see those two ears on my head? You can see mine for sure. There's no hair covering them. My ears are so keen and so sharp and so fine, no ears in the world can hear further than mine. I'm telling you, I'm not messing with a bear. I'm not. Humph! The bear grunted. He looked at each ear. You say they are good, said the bear with a sneer, but how do I know just how far they can hear? I'll prove, said the rabbit, my ears are the best. You sit there and watch me. I'll prove it by test. Then he stiffened his ears till they both stood up high and pointed straight up at the blue of the sky. He stretched his ears open as wide as he could. Shh, I'm listening, he said as he stood. He listened so hard that he started to sweat, and the fur on his ears and his forehead got wet wet fur. For seven long minutes he stood, then he stirred, and he said to the bear, do you know what I heard? Do you see that far mountain? It's 90 miles off. There's a fly on that mountain. I just heard him cough. Now the cough of a fly, sir, is quite hard to hear. I've never heard one. When he's 90 miles off, but I heard it quite clear. So you see, Brag the rabbit, it's perfectly true that my ears are the best, so I'm better than you. You gotta be better than someone. Why can't they just be friends? The bear for a moment just sulked as he sat, for he knew that his ears couldn't hear things like that. This rabbit, he thought, made a fool out of me. Now I've got to prove that I'm better than he. So he said to the rabbit, you hear pretty well. You can hear 90 miles, but how far can you smell? I'm the greatest of smellers, he bragged. See my nose? This nose on my face is the finest that grows. My nose can smell anything both far and near. With my nose, I can smell twice as far as you hear. There's his nose. Hmm. You can't, snapped the rabbit. I can, growled the bear. And he stuck his big nose way up in the air. He wiggled that nose and he sniffed and he snuffed. He waggled that nose, and he whiffed, and he whuffed. For more than ten minutes, he snapped, and he snuffed. Then he said to the rabbit, I've smelled far enough. Let's see what this dude smelled. All right, said the rabbit, come on now and tell exactly how far is the smell that you smell. Oh, I'm smelling a very far smell, said the bear, away past that fly on that mountain out there. I'm smelling past many great mountains beyond, six hundred miles more to the edge of a pond. See that old green thing? He's smelling. Hmm? And way, way out there by the pond you can't see is a very small farm. On the farm is a tree. On the tree is a branch. On the branch is a nest. A very small nest where two tiny eggs rest. Two hummingbird eggs, only half an inch long. But my nose, said the bear, is so wonderfully strong. My nose is so good, 
that I smelled without fail that the egg on the left is a little bit stale. And that is a thing that no rabbit can do, so you see the bear boasted I'm better than you. My smellers are so keen that it just can't be beat. So he smelled all the way these little tiny hunting birds. He said one of those eggs is kind of stinky. <clears throat> What's that? called a voice from way down by his feet. The bear and the rabbit looked down at the sound, and they saw an old worm crawling out of the ground. Now, boys, said the worm, you've been bragging a lot. You both think you're great, but I think you're not. You're not half as good as a fellow like me. You hear and you smell, but how far can you see? Now, I'm here to prove to you big boasting guys that your nose and your ears aren't as good as my eyes. Oh my gosh, look at that worm. You got some peepers. And the little old worm cocked his head to one side, and he opened his eyes, and he opened them wide, and they looked far away with a strange sort of state, as if they were burning to holes in the air. Oh, I'm going to reread that line. And they looked far away with a strange sort of stare, as if they were burning to holes in the air. The eyes of that worm almost popped from his head. He stared half an hour till his eyelids got red. That's enough, growled the bear. Tell the rabbit and me, how far did you look? Just what did you see? He is focused. No doubt. <laughs> well, boys, the worm answered, that look that I took was a look that looked farther than you'll ever look. I looked across the ocean way out to Japan, for I can see farther than anyone can. There's no one on earth who has eyesight that's finer. I looked past Japan, then I looked across China, I looked across Egypt, then I took a quick glance across two countries, Holland and France, then I looked across England and also Brazil, but I couldn't stop there. I looked much farther still. Hmm. This dude can really see. And I kept right on looking and looking until I looked around the world and right back to this hill. And I saw on this hill, since my eyesight's so keen, the two biggest fools that have ever been seen. And the fools that I saw were none other than you, who seem to have nothing else better to do than sit here and argue who's better than who. <laughs> that worm. He told those guys. He said, stop arguing about who's better. Come on, this is silly. Then the little old worm gave his head a small jerk, and he dived in his hole and went back to work. Should have said humph, because I know that's what they like to say in Dr. Schultz's books. All right, that puts us about eight minutes, so I think we'll have to save Yertle for uh, next week, maybe Monday or Tuesday, unless I get some book requests or from anyone else. So, enjoyed it. Love the big brag. Very funny. Don't brag. Just, you don't have to be better than someone all the time. You guys, have a great day.